Greetings HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices. And I'm sitting here with my HP Touchpad running the newly released uh, Cyanogen Mod 9 Ice Cream Sandwich Alpha 2. The Alpha 2 just recently came out and it gives us a lot more flexibility in terms of video playback and Netflix now works and uh, YouTube HD video now works and 720p playback works now and that's all well and good. Uh, I do want to show you something though that I have uh, discovered which is, uh, let me just plug in a website here and uh, we'll just go to Hulu. Hulu is a video site most of you are probably aware of it. Uh, you're probably also aware that it's very heavily flash based and uh, quite frankly a lot of the uh, well actually all of them yell at you and tell you that they're not going to work so if you were to go and try to plug Hulu in and go to it it'll tell you that your device is not supported or uh, something of that nature. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go pick a random movie Groundhog Day, very nice movie if you've never seen it. And I'm going to show you what I have accomplished. Okay, as you can see, Hulu is working for me. And the audio does work. I'm Turn it up to show you. So this is uh, Hulu, the free version. It's not Hulu Plus. I'm sure Hulu Plus would also work uh, as well. But this is working, and uh, the ads are working, and uh, everything seems great with this. I'm just gonna once the actual movie starts, I'm gonna jump into full screen mode. But basically, uh, what I've done here is I have found a hack uh, for the Flash player. It works with the most recent version of Flash. I'm also using the ICS Browser Plus because quite frankly it's the best uh, performance that I have found so far. Whoops. Let me jump down here. Go full screen. Hit play. There we go. So this is Groundhog Day playing perfectly well on Hulu. So let's see what it is that I have done to make this happen. So the first thing we need to do here on the computer is I'm going to go to the uh, XDA developers forum. I, I found this, uh, th this, this Hulu win flash hack uh, for the transformer, which is a, a different tablet. And it occurred to me that we should try this on the touchpad, and I was successful. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Uh, just scrolling down through this, th this guy uh, did a very good job of uh, making instructions for this. And uh, th this works uh, very well, actually, with the most recent version of the, uh, the Flash from the market. All you need to do, really, is download this file right here. It's a 4 megabyte zip file, and I've already done that, and we'll get to that. Uh, and then he gives instructions on how to install it. Now, you don't actually need to follow his rules, his uh, his instructions, because a lot of this is ADB, and we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to do it a much easier way using the tablet. It also does require you to download something called Script Manager from the market, and we're going to go do that on the tablet. I'm going to show you every step of the way. Um, and this does work for Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, I don't know if it works for Cyanogen Mod 7 or Classic Nerd or any of the other versions, but I don't see why it wouldn't. Uh, it, it makes sense that it would. So let's take a look at the actual files now. I've already downloaded the file and I've unzipped it. And inside the zip file are two files. Uh, libflashplayer.so and uh, s 98 fixflash This is a uh, library file that we're going to put in the correct spot. And then this is a uh, script which uh, is going to run um, each time we reboot the computer. And, and so let me, 
I accidentally clicked it. Uh, this, or, I'm sorry, every time we reboot the tablet, it's going to rerun this uh, using script manager. So th th this allows you to uh, reboot and still have the hack work for you. So let's switch back over to the tablet now and uh, I'll show you how to go and, and set this up. First thing we need to make sure that we've done is to make sure that we've actually downloaded the uh, flash from the market. And I've already done that, but I'm just gonna show you here uh, what I've done. So Adobe Flash Player 11, I've already gotten it installed. Uh, I recommend that you uh, install that. That's the very first thing that you're gonna wanna do. Another thing that you're gonna wanna download is something called Script Manager. And I'll just show you that I also already have Script Manager installed. And only because I found it to be the smoothest, I'm also going to recommend that you download uh, the ICS browser. I'm going to show you which one, the ICS Plus, or ICS Browser Plus. That's the one that I have found gives the best uh, uh, Hulu performance. Uh, I tried Dolphin HD, and it kind of choked a little bit. Uh, one of the requirements is that the browser must be able to change the UA agent to be a desktop. Uh, I also tried Opera Mobile. Opera didn't seem to like the hack. So ICS Browser Plus seems to be your big winner. I have not tried uh, any other ones though, like Firefox. Uh, I don't believe Chrome gives us u uh, user agent uh, either. So we're going to just stick with ICS Plus for the purposes of this video. So now, the first thing that we need to do, and you'll see I have ICS Browser Plus uh, already on my desktop. We need to take those two files that we just got from that zip, and I'm going to go into ES File Explorer and show you what we've got. Now, again, just to be very clear on this, in order for ES File Explorer to be effective, you have to go into the menu and you have to toggle Root Explorer and Mount File System. If you don't have check marks in these boxes, you're doing it wrong. Okay, on the root of my touchpad, on the SD card, I have the libflashplayer.so and the S98 Fix Flash. Those are the two files that I got from my zip file uh, for on the desktop, and I just moved them over here. From there, I need to put them into a special folder. So I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to go to the root. So this is the root of the touchpad, and in here is a folder called data. So when I click on data, you'll notice that I have a folder called Flash. If you don't have one called Flash yet, you'll have to make a new one called Flash. And uh, just um, once you have that Flash folder, you put those two files in that folder. So copy and paste them into this folder. And that's all you have to do really in the ES File Explorer. From there, we go in and we go find Script Manager. Now Script Manager is a little file folder here. I'm gonna tap that and it's going to allow or it's going to ask for super user request and I'm going to allow that. Now I have to tell you that script manager to me uh, seems a little flaky. Uh, there's been a few circumstances where it crashed on me or it died or it didn't do what I needed it to do. So if that occurs for you, uh, just try, try again. So turn it off, reboot, try it again. All right, uh, we're going to go up here. Uh, you'll notice that it's in the, and I'm going to kind of zoom in a bit here to show you that it is uh, the folder that I'm in is mount SD card, and, and we need to go back a couple by hitting the double dot folder up at the top of the list. And this is very similar to ES File Explorer in its structure. And uh, so we're going to go and look for that same folder that we just created, that data which is right here, and then inside here is the flash folder. And there are two files. So there's the uh, libflashplayer.so and then the uh, S98 fix flash. Now you'll notice that mine uh, has two little icons here and, and yours might not yet, but it's about to. So I'm gonna tap on it and it's going to actually want to run the uh, run this script. Now, before we do, we want to make sure we do two things. And I already have mine turned on, so I'm going to turn them off. We need to tap the SU, and then it will glow green. And then we also have to tap boot, and it will glow blue. 
and that will tell Script Manager to run this as a super user every time we reboot. And that's what we want ultimately. So now I'm going to hit run. And it comes up with uh, almost a, a, uh, a terminal screen here. And uh, it doesn't do anything. That's it. You're done. So you hit close. That's it. So from here, from here, I should, in essence, be able to now just go into the ICS Browser Plus, which I'm going to do now, and go to Hulu, which it's already seen that I'm remembered my life. That's the other thing I liked about ICS Plus uh, is that it remembered where I was after I closed. Uh, that, that's even, at, even if I went in and, and manually closed it, it still remembered that I was there. Okay, here comes my ad. And this is really it, folks. I mean, I, I, I can almost guarantee that I'm going to have a lot of people who uh, struggle with this. Uh, this was not something that I figured out right away. But here are the key points. Get those two files. Make sure you put those two files in the folder. Let me turn the volume down here. Put the two files into the boot flash folder. Download Script Manager. Make sure you run the script with the uh, super user and the boot. And then go download your browser of choice. Uh, I do want to point out one thing here. I guess this is important. In order for the browser plus to work, I did have to go into advanced and user agent and I had to choose desktop. I'm, I'm glad I didn't forget that. I would have gotten that question quite a bit. By default, it's on Android. If you do Android, I'll just show you. Let me, let me close ICS browser and go back into it. And of course, now it doesn't remember where I was. Groundhog Day. So this is if you don't change the user agent. Unfortunately, this video is not available on your platform. We apologize for any inconvenience. So even after the flash was fixed, because of the fact that the user agent is Android, it fails. But if I were to go in now to my settings, advanced user agent, desktop, and go back and hit reload. Let's see if this works. Looks like it's about to work, and there comes the ad. Okay, so now we're working. Uh, so the keys here is put those two files in, run the script, uh, super user, and uh, boot, and then uh, make sure your browser is uh, user agent for desktop, and uh, now you have Hulu. So uh, I recommend uh, doing this if you're a, a video uh, buff like I am. Hulu has a lot of uh, stuff available for you to go out and watch. Uh, obviously, Groundhog Day, a timeless classic, is available for you for free to go find. Uh, plus, it has Crackle and things of that nature. So I do recommend you do this. So, so this has been Reverend Kyle giving you something very fun here on the Alpha 2, uh, showing you how to run Hulu without any problems.